Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome back to F1 2015. Today we are doing qualifying. So let's have a look and see who's currently top. Um, in fact, has anyone even gone out yet? I don't think anyone's gone out yet. No, it looks like an empty track. So there's me worrying over nothing. Um, I've done some changes to the car in terms of setup. My last practice session after I finished recording was actually going quite well until uh, I met my old nemesis again, whose name I need to remind myself of. Where is he? This guy here, Nazir. Nazir, Nazir. Um, he rammed into me, knocked me into the barrier, and I ended up with a broken front wing, a right front puncture, and I think I had a transmission issue as well. So I'm not very happy with him. We had a little bit of toing and froing just before that, which I think is one of the reasons why he rammed me. But even so, I'm not too happy with that. So I would like to get my own back on him. And I think the best way for me to actually do that is just to try and out-qualify him. And that is a big ask, because this car is not the fastest right now. I've gone for downforce to try and make sure that I've got the best car in terms of downforce. So we're out on track for our first ever qualifying session. In a second, the game will let me take over. In fact, right here is where it lets me take over. Let's go. So, Stephen's out on track. Who is that in front of me? I'd like to try and catch them, whoever they are. Unless it's... Is that Hamilton? Did I just see Hamilton's name? If that's Hamilton, I've got no chance of catching him. Absolute zilch. I've also switched on subtitles so I can actually see what the pit crew are saying to me. Okay, so the team want me to drive smooth. I can drive smooth. This lap isn't about speed, it's about getting the tyres up to temperature. So I can go fast through the straights like this, but I can break early for the corners. Just make sure that we get round the corners nice and slow, nice and smooth. Try and stay on track. And then the next lap will go for a fast one. Apart from I just got rammed again. Steward's inquiry, surely. He did just bump me off the track. That can't be allowed. As I said in the last episode, I will start talking less and less as we get into this, just because I'm going to be focusing a lot more on what I'm actually doing. So here we go. Coming up to the line. We're now on the timer. So I'll try and put in a couple of average laps and then I'll go for a flying lap. Oh, I'm actually doing quite well through this sector. That's quite cool. In fact, is that my teammate in front of me? I think it is. Yes, he's yellow on the radar. That is my teammate right in front of me. Let's see if I can keep track with him. As I said, I have customised my car quite a bit. Uh, so it's probably a very, very different compared to his. even so, I'd like to think that we're not that far behind in terms of performance. The only thing we are behind in is experience. But that should pick up fairly soon. As I get to terms with the car and the track and the opposition. Because we've got our little friend behind us still who's trying to ram us off the track. Okay, so we're not going to keep up with Hamilton, but can we at least get in front of our teammate? Can't overtake him here, can I? Can I overtake him here? So, so I'm 13th at the moment. I can live with 13th. My target is 16th. 
that the team set me. So that's not bad. 13th on a non-flying lap. I'm quite proud of that. Obviously, there's a lot of cars that haven't gone out yet. So I imagine they'll go past me straight away. And my teammate is still holding me up. I wish there was a button that I could press. In fact, is there a button I can press? To let my uh, team know that I want to go through. Hang on. We've got all these camera controls, camera controls. Activate, deactivate. Ah, DRS. I forgot about DRS. Voice control. What can I control with my voice? I didn't realize there was something I could control with my voice. But doesn't it look like there's a, a team control. Oh, there's race director. What's this all about? Oh, it just shows me where, where everyone is. Session options. Um, yep, I'm happy with that. And then there's all these return to garage things. Basically, I just want to my teammate to let me through because I'm clearly driving faster than him or at least I'm catching him up on the corners <laughs> whoops I think I might have just knocked into him slightly there took the inside line might have broken a couple of FIA rules but as you can see I'm now quite a long way in front of him so Maybe on the whole it was worth it. Because now I've got a clear track ahead of me. Which means I can put in some pretty decent time laps. Whoops. Uh uh, I always mess up on that corner. Every time. And then this one always ends up being a struggle because of it. Although I've got my car currently set up to oversteer. Which I think is better for an F1 car. Because it means you can really turn the corner properly. Right, so it's telling me... My team are telling me that there is a faster driver behind me. So I've either got to let him through or pick up my own pace. At the moment, I'm going to pick up my own pace. Because I've been doing quite carefully over the last two laps. Whereas now I kind of want to go for a fast one. So I'm, I'm in 14th. I'd like to try and get up to 13th again, if possible. My car isn't set for speed. It's set for downforce. Try and get around the corners better. But I have a feeling in some of these straights, if I can get a good getaway, then I'll be laughing. Right, I've got to go easier on the brakes as well because they're starting to overheat. Which basically means I've got to brake earlier. There's Ericsson who was going faster than me. So he's the one who I had to watch out for. He's gone in front of me now. And I have to pit within two laps as well. So this next lap coming up is going to be my flying lap. And then we're going to do a cool down lap. And then we're going to pit. So here we go. Release it through the straight. Into speed. Try and keep behind Ericsson, try and get his slipstream. So we're still in 14th, which is not good. I'd like to come in at 13th if possible, but this is going to be the flying lap. Hopefully. i will set it out as a flying lap. It might not end as one. Come on, turn. There we go. There's the oversteer kicking in. I like the oversteer, actually. It allows me to take corners how I want to. You can see there, I can really push the accelerator through the corner and then watch the oversteer kick in and take me round. Same here. Just got to take off the brakes. The oversteer kicks in, pulls me round, and away. I've got a little bit of drifting going on as well, which I probably need to deal with. So 
so far this is looking like an alright lap for a flying lap I'm keeping up behind Ericsson I don't know whether he's on a flying lap or not if I'm keeping up with the car in front then that's normally a good sign considering they're all faster than me ah right he's pitting so that was technically my flying lap. Let's see where I am. Ah, oh dear, I've dropped to 15th. Okay. There's Grosjean, who likes to ram other cars, so I have to watch out there. Okay, I'm losing time in the final two sectors. Race, my uh, race crew there, keeping me advised on what I need to improve on. I think, is that a McLaren behind me? don't know. I'd like to keep them at bay though. We go around these corners. Oh, didn't want to collide with that. Yeah, there's Grosjean. He's taking the inside line on me. And his skid plate is producing some sparks. Which I've got to be careful of. Yeah, he didn't accelerate as quickly as I thought he would. Whoa! Lost the back end there. I need to pit on this lap anyway, so it wasn't going to be a flying lap. Okay, let's go in and see how my overall performance is doing. So I'm in 16th. I've dropped to 16th. My teammate is just behind me in 17th. So I suppose my first overall objective is to beat my teammate. Um, that's always a good sign if you can do that. So let's get back in the pits. We'll get refueled. We'll probably change our tyres. And let's see how we could do. So our best lap time is 137. I think the lead is 133 at the moment. But we can check that in a second. So as you can see, my objective is 16th, and that's currently where I am. So that's not too bad. It's just about let's see who's currently Rosberg 133. So if I can if I can lap a 133 which I don't think I'll be able to do, but if I could do like a 135, take two seconds off my time, and I'm up in the top 10, which is quite good. And I'm currently meeting my objective, so if I just change my tyres, see if I can get a fresh set of tyres, because these ones are quite worn. So if I fit myself a new set of tyres, and get back out there, I might be able to set a pretty decent decent lap time weather forecast is sunny that one thing I didn't check was the clock to see how long I've got left to qualify four minutes so I can put in a couple of quick laps basically one warm up lap and then some flying laps that's all I've got time for We've got new tyres as well, which are going to be very slippery. Let's get around here. Oh, I can feel the grip. Just, it's not there. There's no grip. So I'm actually going to have to go quite hard on this lap just to warm the tyres up. I'm running wide on corners where really I shouldn't be running wide. I think I handled that one quite well, considering I was totally off the racing line. So it's all about going in here and then outside again. 
for the approach to this corner. There's no one near me on the track, so I've got plenty of space to do what I want to do. Yeah, I ran wide on that corner again. Lost all grip. <laughs> Keep losing the back end on that green patch. Whatever it is, it's some fake material. Rubbery kind of stuff. Alright, here we go. Timer starts now. So yeah, I'm still losing time in the last two sectors. So if I can make up time in the first sector then I could afford to lose a little bit in the second sector and maybe even the third and still post a good time. I need to be smoother in my turning as well. I keep sort of turning in, turning in, turning in. And I lose a lot of time doing that. So it's break early and then just turn once. Break once, turn once. That's how you drive an F1 car. So brake once, turn once. There we go. Starting to get the hang of this driving malarkey. I, I have to admit, this is my first time ever playing an F1 game outside of a video arcade. So I'm quite pleased that this is only my second session in an F1 car and actually I'm doing okay. I'm setting some pretty decent lap times. For Man and Marisha anyway. They don't normally set the fastest times in real life so I feel like I'm sort of meeting expectations here. And we're nearly at the end of qualifying. Coming through to the home straight. Got to get some foot down. Two, three, four... Five, six, ah, it's the same as before. Oh, hang on, I went up to 13th. Oh, now that is good. I've got just enough time for one more lap. So let's really push for this now. 13th is my current position. Let's see if I can push higher. Right, hopefully it doesn't rain during qualifying. If it rains during the race, then that hinders everybody, not just me. And I'm currently 9 0.9 seconds off the pace in this sector, which is not very good. And I am letting the car slide a lot more on corners, because I'm trying to push to get all the acceleration I possibly can. I think I'm the only car out on the track at the moment as well. Oh, I took that one nicely. I enjoyed that one. Break once, turn once. Even though I turned twice there. Hamilton's just set a 133.3. So obviously I'm going to be nowhere near that. And I've gone wide. Oh no, I've lost all my speed. Oh no. I lost all my speed in that penultimate corner. So it looks like I qualified 13th, which actually I'm quite happy with. So I'll take that. I will take that. My team are quite happy with me anyway. Punch in the air. Okay, so just have a quick look at the grid before we end the episode. Hamilton in first with a 133.3. Then we got Rosberg uh, in second. Raikkonen, Vettel, Massa, Bottas, Ricardo, Grosjean, Nasser, Verstappen, Hulkenberg, Sands, Button, Maldonado, Alonso, and we qualified 16th, which isn't too bad. I'm quite happy with that. And then below us, we got Perez, Kvat, Ericsson, and then Mary. I must learn the pronunciation of these names, but I'm going to call him Murray for now. Our teammate is in 20th, so he 
qualified last, we qualified 16th. So I'm, I, there's quite a lot to be happy about there, actually. I'm happy with that. Um, so yes, next time when we come back, we'll be at Albert Park for the Melbourne Grand Prix, otherwise known as the Australian Grand Prix, and it's the actual race. We'll be starting 16th on the grid, which I'm quite pleased about. We've got Alonso and Perez to really worry about. And Maldonado actually directly in front of us, which is going to be a worry. But anyway, until then, thank you very much guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I will see you soon.